review for Triple Frontier. It gets four out of five stars from me. Uh, it's on Netflix right now, so go check it out after this. Um, to start, uh, basically, I thought this movie was going to be like Expendables, you know, going into it just because of like the trailers and advertisement. It all felt like it was going to be an Expendables type movie. Also, because with Expendables, it's an elite group of guys. There's a job that needs to be done. No one wants to do the job. No one's equipped to do the job. So these guys come in, get the job done, but there's complications along the way, just like any other job. So there's that. Also, this movie really reminded me of Sicario, which is a good quality because I like that movie a lot. And um, so, so it, it, you know, it reminded me of that movie and I thought it would be like Expendables, but I wouldn't go into this movie uh, expecting it to be like another Expendables or anything like that. You know, if this movie is anything like Expendables, it's just a much more well-composed version. So that's what I have to say about that. My two favorite things are the cast and also the action sequences. To start, the cast is A1. Um, uh, we got um, Oscar Isaac. Um, he was in Drive, A Most Violent Year, the, uh, the Star Wars reboot, Annihilation. He stole the show in that. He stole the show in this, too. Uh, that's just my opinion. I really loved his performance. There's also Ben Affleck. Um, there's the lead actor from, um, from Sons of Anarchy an actor from uh, the show Narcos, and also um, uh, the white brother from Four Brothers, okay? So, uh, hey, sorry I uh, didn't get the actors' names, but that's the cast, basically. Um, and here are their nicknames. Uh, uh, Redfly is Ben Affleck. Pope is uh, Oscar Isaac, and he assembles the team. Uh, it's basically all ex-military. All these guys serve together. Um... Pope is recruiting them for this job where it's basically a, uh, a cartel uh, member or leader. You know, th there's a house that he owns and it's a uh, safe. That's, I think that's what they say in the movie. The house itself is a safe and you get to figure that out, you know, as the plot unfolds and whatnot. Um, so they got to go in, get the money and then get out and uh, they're going to do it off the books. You know, it's, uh, w and that kind of reminded me of Sicario because in that movie, they're doing some things and you're like, Hey, is this legal? You know, definitely not. Um, but, uh, all that is explained and it's, uh, uh, every performance in the movie is super well done. Um, there's, a there's a female actress in this, uh, I'm forgetting her name, but, uh, she was really good in this too. Everyone like has a really emotional performance and uh, everyone was uh, great with the action sequences, you know, uh, just like a super strong uh, job from everybody in the cast, in my opinion. Um, the plot is kind of just like simple, you know, for like an action movie, you know, they got like a window of time or a heist movie. I mean, they got a window of time to get in there, get the money and get out and a bunch of shit happens along the way and things get confusing, you know, um, which leads into my next point, the action sequences, super well done, multiple chase scenes that uh, had me on the edge of my seat. They were super exciting. Um, I was in the middle of doing something and I was just like, oh shit, I can't, I can't do this right now because this movie has my complete attention. That's a really good thing. They got that right. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything. The ending of this movie was a little like, hey, something had to happen, you know, but, uh, the ending was a little iffy, but they kind of saved it by the very end. You'll know what I'm talking about. There's a little note, if you will. Well, it's literal, but uh, you'll have to see. The note kind of saved it for me. If there weren't a note at the end of the movie, I'd be like, hey, you know, that was a little, uh, you know, you didn't get the bang for your buck. I'm not going to spoil anything, okay? Uh, the movie's also, like, heavily about loyalty, and, uh, you know, like honoring a person, you know, and, and that whole thing. So I, I liked all the concepts and themes and, uh, you know, it, it reminded me a lot of Sicario, which was great, as I said before. Um, but, uh, Oscar Isaacs was so, Oscar Isaac, I meant, is so great in this and Ben Affleck is great. Everybody else is great. Um, so all the performances are good and the action is good, but my only real complaint was the, the end was good, but... I feel like they maybe could have done something better. D then again, it's still, you know, it, it's it's still well done and I and I can't think of what I would have done differently. Um I think like I said if there wasn't the note, 
then I'd be like, hey, you know, I don't know about this ending. You know, the note saved it. So um, all in all, four out of five stars. Uh, go check it out right now if you haven't already. Uh, you know, the, the cast alone should be enough to get you to want to see it. Hopefully that was uh, detailed enough without like, you know, rambling. You know, my bad if I do. I may start calling these the forgetful reviewer just because I... Uh, I go off in the wrong direction sometimes, uh, but I hope you enjoyed. Check out that movie. All right, that's it.